would you agree that the best way to learn a lesson and for it to be ingrained in a person is through a really good story? That is definitely one of the best ways. If you're trying to teach someone uh, a principle or um, – yeah, absolutely. I think teaching, if you're trying to teach someone a principle or an important component, uh, that yes, yes, I agree with that. It's one of the best ways. I, I also agree. And I didn't always <laughs> think this. I thought that you, you know, if you stated a principle or if you stated, uh, uh, like a moral foundation or, you know, you could just state it as a bullet point in a single sentence and it would be understood rather than telling, a story that evokes emotion and is easier to remember and is sticky and uh, is is a better way to teach that lesson. Okay, so operating as if that's true. I'm seeing more and more like big names starting to write fiction, which is interesting. Tim Ferriss mm. is the is the one that comes to mind. But oh, really? Other, uh-huh. And uh, – and and so that separately is interesting to me. I'm going to I'm going to try and connect all these random things going on in my brain. And additionally so along so and and then I think we have a, a problem in society right now that that many of the problems in society right now stem from men and people being weak. Weak-minded, weak physically, weak mentally, weak emotionally, weak spiritually, weak in many ways. And that's bubbling up to the surface and, and causing directly or indirectly a lot of the, the problems that we're having. So let me try and pull this all together. You can do it. I know you can. I think, okay, okay. <laughs> so a di a di on top of that, I don't know if this is just me personally or if this applies to others, but Emulation of certain individuals is one of the ways in my life that I have, call it like upgraded my character mm -hmm. or, or my moral being or like the way that I act and am in the world. And we live in this time where it's very hard to have non-fictional real life people to emulate because Everyone is getting, first of all, because all humans are imperfect and because everyone is tearing everyone down. So you can have someone who's like 99% good. Like let's take Martin Luther King, for example. People hate on Martin Luther King Jr. who did such amazing things because, oh, but he cheated on his wife. Like, like that's one of many examples where you have someone who does something that is incredible and amazing, but then because they're a real person and they're not perfect, mm -hmm. you have people tearing them down. Fictional mm -hmm. characters can't be torn down because fictional characters can be made as the ideal. And, mm -hmm. and I think of like General Maximus and Gladiator. I think of William Wallace and Braveheart. I think of Harry Potter is a really good example. I think John of these- John Snow. John Snow. Like these protagonists who, uh, who live in a way that is the ideal. But you can't just you can't just state the ideal. The whole story arc teaches the ideal, and and I think the popularity of all four of those pieces of fiction, um, in and of itself, uh, is enough evidence that that is something that we are hungry for and that we need. So my and and I can list way more examples than just like MLK Jr. is the first one that came to my mind, but many other like really good people in society are easily torn down and made. Um, made out to be villains or made out to be like someone who shouldn't be emulated, even if they have a lot of really good ideas and good messages and, and things that we need as a society. So I think if this, if there is an uptick in the amount of fiction production, I think many of the characters that come out of that wave uh, could change the shape of society in the future. Are you, are you thinking that the characters coming out of this fiction wave potentially would be like great characters for people to try and emulate. You think like in terms of, I, I, I assume like kind of like a cream rises to the top in fiction that mm -hmm. that would happen. Like, yeah, yeah. like there's a reason 
why the Harry Potter series was so unbelievably popular and a million other fiction series over that 20 year window weren't.